This episode of Take Facts is brought to you by Swap and Stuff, the first taxidermy kit for children 6 to 10. Order now and get 50% off the rodents of your choice, front or back. Choose quickly now, children. Hydrogen is the simplest atom on the periodic table and accounts for more than 90% of all matter in existence. Planets like Jupiter and Saturn are full of the stuff, hence the name gas giants, but it's in stars that hydrogen really starts to shine. Yes, I'm very clever, moving swiftly on. Stars power themselves through a process known to physicists as nuclear fusion and to chemists as smashy smashy proton crashy. If very light elements are crammed together at enormously high temperatures and pressures, then nuclei will fuse together, creating a single heavier nucleus and a sh** ton of electromagnetic energy. Engineers have been trying to harness nuclear fusion on Earth for decades, and while steps are being taken in the right direction, it'll be a good few years before you'll be able to kit out your kitchen with a fusion-powered smoothie maker. Now, hydrogen atoms are to a penny in the universe, but hydrogen the compound is actually pretty rare on Earth. Hydrogen gas is colourless, odourless, and so light that if you let it out of its container, it'll float merrily away into the upper atmosphere like an invisible gaseous rubber ducky. If exposed to a source of heat, hydrogen gas will react with oxygen in the air to make water. As a general rule of thumb, the more stable a reaction's end product is, the more exothermic, or heat-releasing, you can expect that reaction to be. Now, water is a very stable molecule, and this reaction is very, 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 very exothermic. Exposing hydrogen to a naked flame is a one-way ticket to melty-faced, fiery death, and if you have any chemical sense, you'll know it's about as good an idea as replacing your toothbrush with an orbital sander. A hydrogen explosion is widely accepted as the cause of the Hindenburg disaster of 1937, where the eponymous airship was consumed in a cataclysmic fireball while trying to land in the United States. The Hindenburg was a type of aircraft known as a Zeppelin. You know, those enormous fabric balloons you see in all-timey newsreels and mid-tier dystopian BBC series. Ironically, the Hindenburg wasn't even designed to be filled with hydrogen. When construction began in 1932, the Germans initially planned to inflate the aircraft with helium, a much safer gas that was about as flammable as a cinder block in a swimming pool. Unfortunately for the Germans, supplies of helium in the 1930s were largely controlled by the Americans, who were only willing to part with it for extortionate sums of money. Hydrogen, meanwhile, could be made relatively inexpensively by passing a strong electric current through seawater in a process known as electrolysis. Their hands forced, the design team made a fatal compromise and sent the ship off regardless, filled to bursting with hydrogen. Lovely, flammable hydrogen. For those of you privately educated enough to care, the word hydrogen roughly translates to water former in ancient Greek, just as well considering water is the most common hydrogen compound on planet Earth and covers over 70% of its surface like gravy on a spherical chicken. Water's chemical formula is H2O, which by terrible Hollywood wordplay alone is the most recognisable formula in the history of the physical sciences. At the atomic level, water molecules look like V-shaped blobs. The oxygen atom, that's this one, sits at the V-centre and accounts for most of the molecule's mass. And hydrogen atoms, these teeny ones, are kept fastened to the sensor with covalent bonds. Connections formed between two atoms when they share a pair of electrons kept at arm's length like a bags of rotten mints. The thing to bear in mind about water is that without it you'll be deader than disco in four days flat, and that's being optimistic. Water is a necessary component of this, 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 and about ten million other things I'm too lazy to mention. I don't know, ask your doctor, they'll probably know. By far, water's most important role, both inside the body and out of it, is as a solvent, or something you can dissolve things in. Despite hundreds of years of scientific innovation, water is one of the cheapest and most effective solvents known to man. More substances can be dissolved in water than in any other liquid in the universe, and that's counting some really powerful acids. Now, while Uber won't be adding zeppelins to its lineup anytime soon, hydrogen gas is still the subject of intense research for transportation, particularly as a fuel source. Think about it, it ignites at low temperatures, it's lightweight, you can make it from the most common liquid on the planet, what more can you want? Even better, the only byproduct from its combustion is water, as opposed to nasty things like greenhouse gases or conservative MPs. As nice as this sound, the rough edges of the plan haven't been smoothed out just yet. Hydrogen is still very expensive to store, and if you want to scale up production, the most cost-effective way to do it is generate electricity with fossil fuels, which sort of defeats the whole point of making clean fuel in the first place. Now I have a hunch humanity will get there eventually, but who's to say? Never expect too much from a species that literally landed on the moon before they realised you can put wheels on suitcases.